Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Stock Career Mode in Kerbal Space Program 1.8 and well, here we are and there seems to be a little bit of untitled space to be there, let's recover that and we landed on the moon last time uh, let's see what contracts we have this time Nominus? Bring Moonstone back with you? Find a Moonstone Have a Kerbal pick it up and return it to Kerbin. We suspect you can find one in. Find one. Uh, we suspect you can find one of these in the Midland craters, lowlands, or polar crater biomes. Well, I haven't done this before. This is new. That's a heck of a failure thing. It's a good thing I haven't been failing these missions. They are pretty costly on the failures. So, like, you're not gonna give me the Minmus contract until I bring back a Moonstone. Alright, but can I bring back a Moonstone without unlocking surface samples? Because I haven't unlocked the ability to get surface samples yet. That takes 902,000 funds and I don't have that. So... Well, they say so, so let's go for it. I think we can just use the lander we used before, there was plenty of margin. Plenty of margin. So, let's continue with the music. Uh, let's cut that down just a little bit. I used Force GL Core, and we'll see whether that fixes the texture issue I had last time. I think our moon rock was called Smurf for some vague reason. I overbuilt it. We've got way too much Delta V. We could send this to Duna, probably. And more. And we only have one clamp because we are limited to 30 parts. So, it's gonna wobble a bit. Midland Craters, Low Lowlands would probably be the easiest. Or polar crater, bi polar crater biomes. So we'll have to EVA out to see the biomes because I don't have any mods and I can't see what the biome is otherwise. So we'll have to EVA Valentina to check out the biome. And then if it's the right biome, we'll uh, target it for landing next time around. We still don't have... Uh, Patch Conics unlocked. Ooh, that's a wobble. I'm sure it'll be alright. I hate Sod Lifters. I hate Sod Lifters so much. You have no idea. My favorite experience with a Sod Lifter is when on the Vega rocket model, parts disappeared on me. That was... That was brilliant, because then... I at least can see the stupid SRBs. They're not really that cheap in real life, too. That's over overstated. The real reason, because I mean, you know, uh, you notice that Russia doesn't use SRBs. The real reason we have to use SRBs is because the military wants SRBs, because they use the SRBs for the for the nuclear missiles, the S uh, ICBMs. So the military wants to keep up the ICBM, uh, the the SRB lines, but otherwise, um, you know, they're not that great. They're good for a huge thrust at the beginning if you are lifting a Hydrolox core stage. That's really pretty, pretty much the only reason anybody else uses SRBs. You'll notice uh, when everybody else uses SRBs, they use it because they're using a hydrogen-oxygen core stage and they need to lift it up. So, like SLS, Ariane 5, H2B, um, that sort of thing. Or uh, India hasn't actually converted their core for, uh, for um, Hydrolox, but basically the GSLV Mark III, if they ever get down to Hydrolox, would be the same configuration. So yeah, what you do is you take advantage of the SRB thrust, which you can't do in stock. The stock SRBs are still crappy, too crappy for that. Um, for the purpose that SRBs are actually used for, the stock SRBs aren't good enough. Because what you would do is uh, make your rocket cheaper, not by using an SRB first stage, but by using a high performance first stage that doesn't have a thrust to weight ratio of 1. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'll have to take a look at these new SRBs you're talking about. Wiggles and Atmo and Minor Flipping. 
The only time I had flipping was when I tried to put uh, a spin stabilize it. Otherwise, it's been pretty good. But are you uh, are you trying to probe dobodine things or what? Oh yeah, yeah. No, you can't make uh, you can't make RSS rockets. You can't make it look like Falcon Nine or anything. About auto strutting. So we need to hit either Midland Craters, Lowlands, or Polar Craters in order to satisfy a contract to pick up a Moonstone, is the deal. They wouldn't give me a Minmus contract, no. Still haven't given me a Minmus contract, otherwise I was sure would have done that first, but whatever. Uh, let me get the song credit up there, I think. Anyway, I'll have to take a look at these new SRBs. That... That's almost good. Make a direct landing, but we have to get to a particular crater, so... I still don't understand why the periapsis shows up there instead. Seems wrong. I need to, like, warm up to making music again by making eerie spacey music. That shouldn't be too hard. That might be a good warm-up act. <laughs> Such basics. Much wow. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, it might be the last time before KSP2, who knows. Uh, total stock, no mods at all, no visual mods, no nothing. No, no Kerbal Engineer necessary, of course, these days. Okay, so we have to find, we have to pick up a Moonstone. And that's supposed to be either in a Midland Crater. This looks like a Midland Crater. Uh, but I can't figure out what biome we're over, except by having Valentine. It, this is a Midland Crater. Okay. Good times. We're right there. So we need to come back around and hit this crater again and land in it. And then, then we should be able to find a Moonstone in there, they say. Are Moonstones new to 1.8, or are they... Have they have they been here for longer? Oh, with breaking ground. Everything in stock has to be done much faster than in RSS. You have a lot more time to think about things in RSS than you do in stock. Like landing. I mean, the landing run in RSS takes forever by comparison. Honestly, that crater looks all bumpy and all bad. I guess this this area over here is not is part of the crater and not too bad. Well, let's see if we have shifty terrain textures. Still quite a slope, and we're landing on our tanks. Not that much. Uh, okay, we forgot SAS. I have to remember that we've got reaction wheels, <laughs> unlike in in uh, our, our real solar system. Okay. I think maybe that's a moon rock over there. I don't know. I don't know what a moon rock is supposed to be like. Okay. Um, I should have probably had Val do other signs first, but let's just get on with it. So, rock first. Well, plant flag first. Val and the Midland Traitors. Moon rock, rock, here we come. TV report. Okay, we can actually use the jetpack in this game. Anti-aliasing on its edges? Well, I don't know what your uh, settings are. I mean, is this the moon rock? It looks too big, isn't it? I can't pick up that rock. Um, so I, I don't know if I, I, I don't think this is the moon rock then, because I can't interact with it. Right click Kerbal. I don't want to say anything. Oh, the inventory thing? Oh, I mean. I can't drag and drop. Oh, pick up Moonstone now. Okay. Jeez. Her head is clipping through her helmet. 72 science. Well, keep. 
I'm so disappointed it didn't go into the inventory system. <laughs> so, with that heavy moon rock, can we actually... I guess it doesn't affect the eva -ing. That'd be too fancy and realisms for stock. Well, we haven't been to Minmus yet because they haven't given us a contract for it. Okay, so, um... Well, we can't do a second EVA report yet, so... Um, could report, keep... Mm, we have these. I think we might have sp uh, s enough fuel to land somewhere else. I think this is the crater we landed in last time. So if we make a hop to the north... Northeast, we should be able to hit this crater. Let's give that a go. Give ourselves some room to slow down. Okay, I'm hoping I didn't uh, overestimate my Delta Vs here before getting back home. Yeah, there was like an earthquake was happening before. The texture, ground textures were like shifty. And so the fix was to force GL core. Um, shortcut to do that. I didn't quite get that uh, piano hit right when I landed. Darn it. Okay. Report, uh, East Far Side Crater. Keep, yay. Okay, bow at East Far Side Crater. Uh, twofer. All right, let's go home. Equatorial, good thing. Uh, the crater we landed in was far south, so we ended up back equatorial, which will simplify things a little. Now, last time having an apoapsis of 10,000 didn't get us low enough. Oh, no, that's not 10,000 anymore. Um, we might have overdone it. We'll see. I think 600 meters per second is enough to correct, though. Still not good enough. Well, whatever. I haven't tried ground science yet. I'm mostly a real realism overhaul, real solar system player. So I haven't tried stock in a long time and I haven't tried the breaking ground experiments yet, Brian. So, yeah. My experience is limited. Sometime in this series I'll get to it. But this is like my first experience with breaking ground in stock. We're still in the part of the career where I've got a 30 part limit, so... And I, I might keep that along for a while, it keeps me nice and disciplined. Okay, I don't think we're gonna slow down ahead of time, let's just jettison the service module now. Hi Miko, how's it going? Ablator is ablating. You missed yesterday? Okay. Well, I mean, you know, we landed on the moon. We landed on the moon again just now. And picked up a moonstone for the first time. I had never picked up a moonstone before. We're gonna land in these same mountains again. They wanna get Valentina, I swear. We need to bulldoze the mountains. Why can't we have terraforming? Terraforming for Kerbal Cur Space Program 2. Darn it. Flatten the mountains. <laughs> we don't we don't need these kinds of risks. They have to say something for KSB3. I want full deformable terrain. I mean, Elon suggested it. They love Elon. Elon loves them. Why can't they allow us to nuke mountains? <laughs> I mean, what are people going to do in multiplayer anywhere except for nuke each other? Terraforming and surviving Mars? I sure haven't gotten to that. There isn't enough of a map to terraform. The tiny map. Yeah, it has mountains, but still. 
Anyway, I want all the things in Kerbal Space Program, obviously. It's not good enough. You can't say, oh, we've got shuttles in Orbiter. Well, yes, I know we have shuttles in Orbiter. That doesn't mean I don't want shuttles in Kerbal Space Program. <laughs> oh, well, you, you, can have, you can have your airplanes in X-Plane 11. No, I can have my airplanes in Kerbal Space Program. Darn it. Can I have your ships in World Warships? No, Kerbal Space Program. <laughs> I want my battleships in Kerbal Space Program. Make the atmosphere to warm the plant. Yeah, something like that. But, uh, oh no, it looks like the texture shaking issue has not been fixed. Can you see this? For those who weren't aware of the texture shaking issue, we've got the earthquake going on here. I don't know, it's pretty dark. I don't know if you can see it properly. For now, we have Kerbin quakes and, well, actually quakes all over the place. And I maintain that actually this is why the Kerbals, uh, are trying so hard to conduct spaceflight. The reason that, the, uh, so now in 1.8 we find out that the reason that the Kerbals are so adamant about spaceflight is because they know that their planet is basically trying to rip itself apart. They've got geological problems, they've got Kerbin quakes, and the reason why Kerbin is trying to rip itself apart is because of its immense density, right? Because uh, it's the Basically, it's got the same gravity as Earth, but it's ten times smaller, so it's much denser than Earth is. And as a result, it is very unstable, and it's basically gonna try and collapse, not quite into a black hole, but into something a little bit even denser, and then probably into something worse. Who knows? Oh, it's gonna rip itself apart. And so now they're out in the Kerbin system trying to find uh, a world that they can settle that doesn't have this problem. Unfortunately, uh... Probably all of them have the problem because it's the texture glitch and it, the, every planet in the Kerbin system has a texture. But we won't tell them that. They're, let's give them hope. Anyway, so we did fulfill that contract. Yes, yes we did. Minmus, please? No Minmus? When do they let us go to Minmus? Who are all these? Rescue Natake from orbit of the moon. Well... I mean, that's the only thing vaguely- there's a position of satellite in polar orbit. Let's spend some science. Yeah, I think it's a good storyline. This is- this is why I'm a wannabe sci-fi writer. You will never go to Minmus. What is this, some sort of a Europa thing? Well, we need a pod with two people. Or we need- we, we've already got the probe cores. You know what? We can do that. Yeah. Okay. Position a satellite in polar orbit of the moon. And rescue Natake. I think I'll put two... Uh, wait, well, we can't do that with... Uh, we don't We don't have enough part count. Oh, well, we're not trying to make a landing. Yeah, well, I was forced upon it by the... By the... That wasn't brilliant. That's just normal. Brilliant was how I attached these engines to this. I'm, I'm sort of proud of that. I hadn't even thought of that method before, but... So we'll have to get into a pull orbit around the moon, and then we have to change our inclination to get to Natake, who's probably on a... Mm, why don't I have my Delta Vs here? Uh, it's probably... Not in a pull orbit, in an equatorial orbit. That's not enough Delta V on that last stage. Uh, we'll have, uh, we'll have two tanks. We're not trying to land, she's in orbit around the moon, so... So remember, uh, not all tanks have surface attached, but these do. Very important feature of these tanks. Is this enough Delta V to do the rescue and the pull? What requirements for, for the satellites? Okay, um, that is to reach that orbit. That's no biggie. New unmanned probe. Well, it'll be unmanned until we rescue Natake with it. <laughs> Can generate power, we got solar panels. It has an antenna, we'll have to put a separate antenna. I haven't actually needed an antenna until now, so we, we need to cut down on parts. Um, oh, we'll just have one tank then. I mean, they won't even let me go to Minmus, so you know. Basically, they have more confidence in you, that's why they ask you to bring the materials bay and goo container. So, look on the bright side. It means you've earned the Materials Bay and Goo Container. They don't trust me with a Materials Bay and Goo Container. 
change the difficulty settings? Yeah, it's on hard. I mean, it's on hard and then I adjusted a few other things, but the uh, payment and all, it's all hard. I took off the shroud for when we had the other, um, I could put the shroud back. No, Valentina, we don't want you in here. Yeah. Darn it. Okay. Well, we just have to get to orbit around here. Uh, I've got some noodliness here, but it's easier to control the rocket when you have a joystick. So for those having instability with noodliness, maybe you're not using a joystick. You know, this without a Kerbal helping, I'm sticking pretty close close to the prograde vector here. There's like a seed, a space seed. Oh, we can coast now. That wasn't a very good ascent. I need to... I need to actually establish more commsats. Okay, let's extend the commutatron at least. Probably might want to go into a higher orbit. Just so that we have line of sight with more ground stations. But I think we're at a time when being right over the KSC will be good for transferring to the moon, so... Might be alright. We have communication. So first goal will be to be a polar satellite, and then second goal will be to rescue the Kerbal. It only ever gives me part test contracts and tourist contracts. It hates me. I get the... The anti-Tyler Ray's seed. <laughs> Looks pretty safe with the one antenna. Except on the back side of the moon, of course. It's pretty high orbit for that Kerbal. And actually more inclined than I was expecting. So, well, I don't have maneuver nodes to get myself into the required orbit. And we want to go south, 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 south. No, wait, north, no, north, north, north. Well, at least this um, this approach will keep us in communication with Kerbin. The the ones I don't like pay nothing. I mean, the tourists are horrible. Cheapskate tourists. Guilty? No, they bloody deserve it for not being able to step outside the pod. You know, if tourists want to be saved, they ought to be able to step outside of the pod to the rescue vehicle. <laughs> I don't know if you were around for it, uh, for that misadventure, but I had to get a vehicle on Leif that would dock to the... Uh, no, with the claw. We had to claw the capsule on the ground to try and rescue them. The rescue failed because the ascent rocket didn't have enough delta V at the end. I think it was. We actually clawed them, got them through. Uh, I don't even remember which version of KSB that was. It's probably like 0.25 or something. Since I can't maneuver, uh, can't make a maneuver node right now, I have to sort of conceptualize what's going on, and it's easier for me if I'm just doing one axis at a time. We need to go do that, but we need to do retrograde a bit. Sway is... yeah. Okay, and then we'll, uh, we'll adjust our orbit down there. Oh yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, no, this is okay. No problem doing this sort of thing. I've got lots of Delta V. It'd only be a problem if the Delta V was tight. Now, I have to... I don't know which one is which right now. This is this is the one. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll have to go over to periapsis and bring that apoapsis down a bit. Yeah, the polar orbit's very convenient for sunlight and communication, so... Yeah, I can imagine. Well, that contract is fulfilled. So, let's see. Okay, we're going this away, so we're gonna have to pull this end up that away.
Well, that's this stage. And... Ah, oh, gosh darn it, we didn't get to deorbit it. Oh well. That is not a major consideration at this stage of the game. We are now much more maneuverable. Let's make sure we don't bump into the other stage. <laughs> mm, that doesn't seem quite right. Okay, now if I was a good person, I would actually calculate. We have a eclipse. I'd actually calculate the phase angle. You stock. Yeah. Tell me about it. But. I'm, la I'm a lazy person, and really I should be in a higher orbit, because it's behind us. I'm gonna waste some Delta V to make this happen. We can't even target that. It's crazy. But yeah, if you're a good Kerbal, you should cal calculate the phase angles instead of randomly trying. How far away are we now? That's that's not is that it? Yeah, that is. Okay. Yeah, escaping the moon. Yeah, there's a lot of those things. I think I should bring the orbit down just a little bit more. Close. Well, actually I overdid it. How far away is it? Ten kilometers? Ah, uh, screw it. <laughs> we can we can force that. You've got oodles of Delta V to force this. Without actually being able to target anything. Without patched conics. Forget maneuver nodes. We don't even have patched conics. Tons of exceptions about shaders. Why would there be... It's the stock game. Hopefully they don't have shader exceptions in the stock game. Or are you talking to somebody else? To be honest, it doesn't seem like playing RSS for ages has uh, maybe any less competent at playing stock. <laughs> uh, nope, actually using all the mods like MechJib doesn't matter one bit. <laughs> okay. Upside down, but it's okay. Left the science things on here, I don't know. Nah, there's nothing. Back. Alright. So, we've saved her, now we have to bring her back. Plenty of Delta V to do that. What is Natake? A scientist. Well, okay. Not the most useful Kerbal, but okay. Sorry, scientists. Oh no! Electric charge. No! Gosh darn it, Natake! Hold on, we can gimbal? Okay, good. <laughs> oh, curl tricks. Uh, but can we get anything on that solar panel though? Oh, just a little bit. Oh, wrong way, wrong way! Oh, you gosh darn it. There we go. You didn't see anything. Always mix up the solar panel and the window. Probably shouldn't put it right there next time. So apparently you can ignite the engine without electric charge. That's good to know. Bob Kerman is the champ. I don't like this the mobile processing lab business. I really don't. I want to go places in order to get science. I didn't play the game to get science from having Kerbals sit around. That, that seems contrary to the purpose of the whole deal. Why not both? Because uh, you end up maxing out the tech tree and having nothing else to do. Basically. Sitting around in orbit is what Earthlings do. You don't want to be an Earthling, do you? Okay, that staging's wrong. At least there aren't any severe mountains on this trajectory. So, like, land or water? Where are we? 
I trust a scientist can figure out how to pop the parachute. I added ambient light. I Is it not enough ambient light for you? No, I mean, I, I just didn't know where exactly we would hit. It's not that I can't see, it's just that I didn't know exactly where on this borderline we would end up. Because we're so close to the coast, but we're ending up over land here. First successful Kerbal Rescue. We need some relay satellites though. But they're not gonna pay me to do that, are they? <laughs>